Hi there, Corey Sanders here for another edition of Tuesdays with Corey, pound sign, Azure TWC. <laughs> it's actually hashtag Azure TWC. Ask me questions. We didn't get any good ones this last week. So what I'm going to do is spend a little bit of time talking about the template things that we released, talk about what they are, why we released them, why they're interesting to you, uh, and some of the things you can do with them. So just to start off, uh, what we had, to, uh, we had previously in the Azure platform, for compute is we had an API, it was a REST-based API. You could call in, say, create a VM, uh, you know, add a network, uh, add a disk to it, so on and so forth. And they used to be sort of very imperative APIs, right? You kind of say, you know, add VM, right? <clears throat> you know, add network, right? Um, add, okay, are we, are we done? <laughs> Do you need some water? <laughs> add, add uh, no one likes working with me. Um, add, uh, what was I saying? Add NIC, add, uh, add network, add VM, uh, uh, add disk, et cetera. And so these end up being APIs that you call one after the other, so on and so forth. Um, and, um, and so it ends up being a little bit cumbersome to be able to call all those things. And so what we've done here is we've actually created a template language, so it's fully declarative, um, and uh, it, it, it actually splits up all the resources into sort of their own distinct sections. So you basically now have a VM resource, uh, you end up having a, a network resource, uh, you can do things like <coughs> NIC, uh, on this as well as, uh, again, uh, you can do um, uh, storage account as well. And so all of these end up being created as part of a template language uh, that will go in and sort of define each one of these. This will say like location uh, and you know this will say what the subnets are and so on. And so the nice thing about this is a few things. One, it's fully declarative, right? So you can go check this into your code and you can know that every time you do this, the exact same thing is going to come out. Right, so you can deploy it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. Same thing comes out, same structure, same network, same NIC, you know, all the things connect together and things just work. A few other things that are great about this, these are completely distinct. So these resources are distinct. You can update each of them individually if you want to. Um, you can also start sort of mixing and matching, right? And so one of the things that we have is uh, the ability to do sort of a, a looping uh, on the <coughs> templates. So now you can start going in and saying, look, these guys I'm actually going to do 100 times. Right, and so you can come in and say, network still once, I'll do the network, I'll set up the subnet, and then I'm gonna do 100 VMs with 100 NICs attached to those VMs and put them all into that network. Um, and it enables really fast, really easy sort of scale out based deployments with again, a very simple template file. Couple additional things that are really great, as part of the VMs, you can actually spin up things called extensions. And so these can also be fully templatized. And some of the great examples of this that you can actually see uh, on our GitHub repository, which we'll put down here, uh, that you can go play around with. Um, things like actually the data stacks deployment that you can go launch um, actually runs a bunch of scripts. And so this, you know, on the Linux side, it'll be a bunch of bash scripts that again, you can effectively check in into your code and run as part of the VM overall template. And so now you have a template that creates all the resources that you want, uh, will run scripts as part of it and all be again fully templatized and so on. Now the other things we announced was of course this same template language will also work in Azure Stack not just public Azure and so we now have a, a fully deployable hybrid and public private every cloud you could possibly want can now deploy this exact same solution which is of course really great uh, you know you take that sort of data stacks example deploy it on-prem deploy it in the cloud etc it's gonna be fantastic um, and so you know overall it makes it really really easy makes it fun you should go play around with some of these things we'll put some links below uh, uh, the Azure.com site that you can go and click to and search through some of the templates, the GitHub repository, make some changes, check them in, you know, we'll accept them and pull them all up into, into the repository and you can uh, go, uh, go sort of have a ball uh, with it. Now the one thing I will final, uh, add as sort of a final point, if you like these and you want to continue to use them, uh, whether it be sort of the Azure CLI, which is a, which is a node-based uh, node command line interface, or whether you want to use PowerShell, uh, or whether you want to just call the APIs directly using sort of a REST interface, all of that's still possible as well. So it's not mutually exclusive. You don't have to all write in the template file. You can actually do everything through the CLI like you used to. Um, and so we're starting to see a lot of combination of people building their initial solution this way, then maybe going and updating it, <coughs> modifying it. Um, you can change things and so on using the 
excuse me, using the Azure CLI and PowerShell and be able to make those updates uh, in that way. And so the great power of this, the other aspects, of course, the role-based access control sits on top of this. You can lock down who gets access to what, and of course, you can do tagging as well. And so all these pieces come together. Oh gosh, there's one more thing. You can also piece together with this uh, the, a, a PaaS based solutions. So if you want to, you can also add in a SQL DB in here. If you want to, you can add a web app in here if you want to. Um, and of course, you can all have them do dependencies, pass parameters. Again, all templatized, checked in, ready to roll. That's it. I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to say. Um, it's. Um, I mean, obviously, I have a lot more that I could say, but I'm going to spare you. Uh, but that's kind of the gist of it. I'd love to hear your questions, your thoughts, your comments, things you're, things you're seeing, things you're using it for. I'd love to hear, you know, if you've got a great example of this is a great template that I love building, or this is a new solution that I can do on Azure, let us know on Azure TWC, pound sign, Azure TWC. Uh, and uh, come on in and, and, uh, and, and hit us up on Twitter with that. And uh, otherwise, have a good day, have a good week, and uh, hopefully you're enjoying these templates. A big announcement, this will be the last one in this office. This is the last Tuesdays with Corey in this office. We're actually moving offices, uh, so I will be uh, uh, doing these from a different, different location moving forward. So hope you enjoyed the spat, and um, as a uh, farewell, good, good eve to you. Just works is what it does. This, these dan I got like, really good dance moves. You set? That, are, are we ready? Yeah. Uh -huh. We can Hold start on. whenever you want, man. Hold on, I'm just I doing a little bit of this. <laughs> just doing a little bit of this. <laughs> uh, wait, I don't even remember what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, no idea. Okay, fine. Are you ready? Am I doing this? Yes, thank you. Bam. Boom. Boom. All right. <laughs>